This is Hammersmith Bridge in London, which is famous for two reasons. The first being its rather rare type of engineering, and the second for how many times it's almost been destroyed. Hammersmith is one of the few bridges left in the world that still has the I-bar engineering design. If you don't know what an I-bar is, don't worry, neither did I until I looked it up. I-bars are steel bars ending in a rounded head, and inside that rounded head has a hole or the eye for a pin to slot into, and that's how this bridge is held together. The original Hammersmith Bridge was built in 1827 by William Tierney Clark, and all that remains of that bridge are the stone pier supports underneath the current bridge. The current bridge that you see here today was built in 1887 by Sir Joseph Bazalgette. The bridge was painted in the colours of green and gold, and these are the colours of the super posh department store, Harrods. It's not a coincidence, Harrods has a depository in nearby barns which influenced the colour scheme. The original bridge lasted 60 years, but in 60 years a lot changed in terms of the traffic that would occur on this bridge. To the point where it really couldn't manage it anymore. The owners of this bridge were already worried about how much it could handle. And then in 1870 there was the annual university boat race. This is a boat race that happened every year and still happens to this day between the University of Cambridge and the University of Oxford. The boats pass from east to west underneath this bridge and in 1870 there were 11 to 12,000 people who stood on this bridge in order to watch the race. When the boats passed underneath they were standing on one side of the bridge and then promptly ran to the other side which caused the bridge to sway dramatically. In order to solve the problem they then closed this bridge and set up a temporary one while they built the new bridge. This wasn't the end of the bridge's troubles, however. In 1939, Morris Childs was crossing this bridge at 1am when he happened upon a suitcase which was smoking and sparking. Upon opening the suitcase, he noticed there was a bomb inside. He then promptly threw this into the river and it exploded, causing a 60-foot cannon of water into the air. It turned out this was an IRA bomb that was planted there. Moments later, a second bomb did in fact explode and it shattered the windows of the houses nearby. Luckily, this didn't actually take down the bridge, but it needed to be closed for repairs. Morris Charles was actually awarded an MBE for his act of bravery. In 1996, the largest Semtex bomb ever found in Britain was planted underneath this bridge by again the IRA, but this time it didn't explode. Still, the bridge was closed for four years for repairs, and when it reopened, there were height and weight restrictions put in place in order to protect it for further use. Then in the year 2000, the IRA planted their third and final bomb underneath Hammersmith Bridge. This one did in fact explode and again they needed to repair the bridge so they closed it. It was rumoured at the time that it was residents in Barnes who had set off the bomb in order to maintain the peace and quiet that they had enjoyed while the bridge had been closed previously. But no, it was in fact the IRA. This bridge has certainly experienced an interesting history of people deliberately and accidentally almost destroying it, but it is still here today for us to enjoy. If you'd like to hear more stories about London's past, please do subscribe to be notified about future videos.